Good morning dear students, welcome back once again to your computer science class. So children, we were all doing lesson number 5, working with styles and objects. Children, we studied about styles, that what style is. So what is style children? Style is basically, it is a combination of formatting features. That is, you don't have to go to the font style option, font color option, bold button, the italics button or to underline and you don't have to go to all these options again and again. This style uh, of feature provides you all these facilities at one place. So this is the benefit of the style. Uh, feature. Now style basically it is of two types that is character style and paragraph style. Children character style is basically used to make changes in the appearance of one particular word and paragraph style is used to make changes to one particular paragraph, the complete paragraph. Then we studied about children inserting word art. Inserting word art is what children, inserting word art means giving some special effect to your text what you have written. That how you can make your text look curved, more decorative, then you can give a shadow effect to your text, you can give three dimensional effect to your text. This is done with the help of word art feature. That is making your text look more decorative. Then children we studied about the uh, um, shapes option. How to insert the shape? Basically the shape option is inserted with the help of insert tab. On the insert tab, shape option is there. The shape option, when we will click on the shape option, various option will come before us. You can see whatever the shapes you want to insert. You can insert it and with the help of the dragging handle, you can increase or decrease the size of the shape. How to insert the uh, text within the shape that we can do by clicking on the shape and you will get one pop-up menu. Click on add text option and you will get star written over here or whatever you want to write here or good you want to write here whatever the thing you want to write here this way we learned about this now today we will learn various other drawing tools used in MS Word so let us move to the uh, new topic children what we will learn today that is using drawing tools and uh, what are, will be the next topic? Inserting clip art, inserting symbols and special characters and applying shadow effects. So let us see how to insert clip art first of all. So click on children insert tab, move to insert tab. On the insert tab you will get clip art option. On the clip art option, after clicking on the clip art option, you will get one uh, dialog box which will uh, ask you for what figure you want to insert. In the search for box, you can write the name of the picture which you want to insert. Clip art means, uh, means children, pre-designed pictures which is there in your system, which is there in the clip art gallery. So children, suppose in the search for box, I have written the name of flower and I'll click on go. So it will show the various list of the various uh, pictures of the flowers. So I will select the flower and click on copy option from the drop down menu and bring it to the screen and click on the screen and from the drop down menu I will click the select the paste option. Now you can see the picture has appeared on the screen. Now with the help of the dragging handle, we can arrange the, adjust the size of the picture. That is the length and the width of the picture can be adjusted with the help of the dragging handle. This is the use of the dragging handle. So children, this picture I have inserted. This is known as clip art. Ok children, <coughs> next let us understand how to use the various drawing tools. 
Let's use the drawing tools children from the again from the insert tab go to the shapes option and select let us select the triangle okay now select this triangle triangle okay children you can increase the size okay now move again to the insert tab click on the shapes option then select the rectangle okay click on the screen drag it with the help of the dragging handle this way i am dragging children you can see on the screen now you can select another rectangle and Resize the dough. It, it should look like a dough. Same way, children. This is not looking appropriate. So we can bring it to this side. So, children, a small house we have made. Let us make one small ventilator also here. A small circular shape has come before us. We can resize this also. With the help of the dragging handle. Now let us fill the color shape with the help of the shape fill option. Click on the shape fill option. Select this. Then click on this shape fill option. Click here. Then select the color which you want. Whatever the color you want. Select this shape, then shape fill option, go to the shape fill option, select this color, now move come to this shape, again move to the green. Okay. So this way children, we have made our house, you can uh, make whatever the uh, uh, texture you want whatever the uh, picture you want to be inserted you can see here from the texture option you can select this whatever the style you want children brown like this this is also looking nice so this way you can see we can decorate now the circle also we can color it with the help of this we can make it look gradient also with the help of the gradient option. Gradient option, you can see it will look nice. See, it is looking nice children. Then, uh, this is our housemate children. Now, how to put the, uh, suppose I want to insert the call out here children. So, how to insert the call out children here? Call out means uh, the speaking, uh, what the person is speaking that the call out uh, reads for you. So, shapes, go to the shapes option. Click on this and click here. And you can see the call out option has come before us now. See, it is showing the picture of the clouds. So, this is the cloud children. Now, we can fill the cloud and you can see you can write also you can see the cursor is blinking within the uh, shape you can write here okay we can put the exclamation mark r i am going to train so this is what the cloud is saying and now let us so show the rain how it will rain children again we will go to the insert tab and from the shapes option with the help of the lines we can show how it rains so this four headed arrow has come to the screen now the four headed arrow will be dragged in the direction where you want the raindrops to come so let us see the raindrops it is coming here children now see the raindrop uh, it is straight line we should make it uh, in the form of dashed lines because rains are not coming straight so let us select the dashes here whichever the dashes you want children see
this one is looking nice select this now after selecting this you can press the shortcut key control D it is going to copy all the lines so it is giving the exact picture of the rain so children this is the rain so we studied so far about how to insert clip art how to use the drawing tools then how to insert the call outs that is here then now it is uh, asking how to apply shadow suppose this picture i have selected now how will you apply shadow with the help of the format tool when you will go here you in the shadow effect you will see here the various shadows see the shadow is coming you can apply shadow to this format picture so you can give see here the picture effect is there picture shape is there picture border is there it is up to your children creativity the way you want okay children so this was about your shadow children and um, um, the rain also we could see here this way we could do with the help of the drawing tools now next is sim uh, children how to insert symbols so let us see how to insert symbols suppose if i want to write 2 into 2 4 so how will i write 2 suppose i'm writing i have to insert a symbol that is into so i'll go to the insert tab and in the insert tab you will get symbol option in the end click on that and it will be applied on this screen i'll write it to is equal to 4 so this way we insert the symbol children so this was all about children lesson number 5 we studied about inserting the various uh, shapes, various text into the shapes, how to insert text box, how to insert word art, how to, ins and how to use the drawing tools. So this was all for today children. See you all in the next video. Till then now, you prepare for your periodic first exam. Thank you children. Have a nice day.